This video will show you how to create easy professional text intro in CapCut PC. First, I added video on the timeline. Click on the text section. Click on a small plus to add text. On the timeline, extend the text to five seconds. Write any text you want in the black box. Right below it, you can choose a font. I chose Rubik. Then enlarge the text almost to the entire screen. Then I choose a color. We can choose any color and I choose green. Scroll a little lower and you will find background, check this box. Drag height so that black covers the video in the background. Now we will change the color to white, but you can also leave it black or choose another. Go to animation section and select type two. Extend the duration to one second. Right click on the text again and select the option create compound clip. Go to the video, then remove BG and check chroma key. Check if you have the color picker in the black frame. If not, click on it. Then click green in the text. Adjust to the timeline so that you see the letters that appear and are green. Then increase the intensity so that there is no green left in the text. Now set a piece in one second on the timeline and press Ctrl plus B. Hold Alt and drag the second half of the video up a line to make a copy. Go to the video then mask and choose horizontal. Now click on the below video and do the same. Turn the mask so that it is 180 degrees. Go to basic and check position keyframe. Now move forward two seconds on the timeline and drag the text down so that it just disappears from the screen. Now click on the upper text. Set yourself to its beginning and go to the video section. Again, check position keyframe. Now click on the bottom text and see where your second keyframe is and set yourself at it. Click again on the top text and drag it up until it disappears from the screen. Second effect is partially revealing the text. Click on the text section. Click on a small plus to add text. Write any text you want in the black box. Right below it, you can choose a font. For a little more interesting text, scroll down and find Glow. Play a little with the intensity and range so that you like it. Right-click on the text and select the option Create Compound Clip. Set yourself to the start of the clip. Then click on Mask and select Mirror. Add Position Keyframe. Set the angle around 310 and slightly reduce the mask size by dragging it. Now set feather to 20. Now move the mask to the right so that your text disappears. Go to the end of the video and move the mask to the right corner of the screen, a new position. Keyframe is automatically added to you at the end of the video and you're done. The third effect is gradually rotating letters. First I add video on the timeline. Click on the text section. Click on a small plus to add text. Write any text you want in the black box. Right below it, you can choose a font. Then make the text a little bigger. Choose any color, for example, green. Scroll a little lower and you will find background. Check it and increase height and width so that black covers the video in the background. Go to animation, scroll down and find flipping. Extend the duration to two seconds. Right click on the text and select the option Create Compound Clip. Go to the video, then remove BG and check chroma key. Then click green in the text. Then increase the intensity so that there is no green left in the text. I'll go to basic and enlarge the text a bit. Find blend, check it, and set mode to multiply. Change the opacity to something around 85% and you're done. The fourth effect is a cinematic zoom effect through text. Click on the text section. Click on a small plus to add text. Write any text you want in the black box. Right below it, you can choose a font. My favorite is Rubik Blood. Click here and choose Export Still Frames. You can change the name or location and press Export. Now click on Import and the image should be added there. If not, you can find it in the file where you saved it. Delete text layer and add background video and that text as picture. 
I now cut the video by pressing Ctrl plus B and pressing Delete. Now I hold down Ctrl and roll the mouse wheel to zoom in on the timeline. I click on the beginning of the text and set the keyframe to Scale and Position. On the timeline set to 3 seconds and change the scale to 500%. Plus add another keyframe to the position. Go to just before the end of the video and set the scale to 6000%. Move the text so that the white area covers the entire screen. Go to Blend. Set Mode to Multiply and Opacity around 85% and you are done. Thanks for watching, I hope I helped you. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more tutorials. Have a nice day.